and the sexy Dr. Geraldine Tan. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Jerry. I was so not expecting it. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Good. Glenn said that I look so, like some Japanese school girl, so... Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I just agreed. They uh, said you look I, like I, a I, Japanese I, school I, girl. I, 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 you look like Sailor Moon today. Happy New Year, Dr. Jerry. Happy New Year! Happy and New Year. almost the last day of Christmas. Tomorrow is the last day of Christmas. The, uh, yeah. Is it tomorrow <laughs> or Thursday? Well, any that doesn't matter. S- wait, I, I thought Christmas is... Wait, hold on. 12, 12, 12 days, days of Christmas. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, I took everything down. My oh, Chinese New Year oh, decorations are up too already. Far, what? Too far. Oh, no. Man, at midnight man. on Christmas, was it? <laughs> <laughs> I two see days you, after yeah. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. So, good morning, Dr. Jerry. How were your holidays? If you got any breaks? We did, I did, and I spent a lovely, lovely time with my uh, children, family, and yes. Nice, And nice. you're ready to start 2022. I am, I am so excited, and it's so great to see all of you today. Yeah, it's been it's too long. Feels yeah. like it's been forever. F- feels, like, um, feels like a few months since yeah. we last met. Huh? Yeah. We last saw you last year. It was ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been three weeks, guys. Well, yeah, that's still quite long. Okay, so Dr. Jerry, today, psychological richness and resolutions. I know what mm. resolutions are. I don't know what psychological richness is. Yeah. Yep, you're going to get to that, but we're going to hear everyone's resolutions today. Oh. What? Do people still make oh. New Year's resolutions? Yeah, I, I don't so. really. <laughs> I'm like I live one day at a time, man. <laughs> okay, but but just um, you know, just for the fun of it, you know, okay. maybe we can all think of something. Yeah, yeah we'll think okay. Of right. And if you guys have made resolutions uh, th- for this year, you can always get on our Facebook page and yes, tell us please. what your resolutions were. For yeah, this year. Okay. yeah. All right, cool. In the meantime, let's uh, let's play a song right now while we continue to talk to Dr. Jerry on the Big Show TV. Here's Taylor Swift, Taylor Tay Tay Swift, <laughs> <laughs> with style on the Big Show One FM ninety one point three. All right. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, resolutions. Yes, Who wants to go, go first? Go Not first. me. Well, we're going straight into it. Wow. Yeah, we're going straight into it. Hmm. Don't waste wow. any time. Okay. I have to admit, I didn't make a New Year resolution, so you yeah. know, give me a bit. That's a, why. A, <laughs> get a bit more time. I'm sure one of us. FD has, has one. FD sure. always well, makes his New Year's resolution. Yeah, He's a traditionalist. That I way. do. Yeah, but but I stayed away from the. I'm gonna exercise. Mm. I'm mm. gonna I'm gonna uh, lose weight. I'm gonna eat better. I'm gonna eat better. I stayed away from all that because that normally lasts about three days with me. <laughs> and so your time is up. It's already the it's fourth already of January. Done, yeah, done already. Okay. I'm, I'm having laksa after the shift. <laughs> he lost all the weight he needs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, okay, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Grams. I'm ready. Oh, okay, what? Uh, okay. I'm ready. Okay, my New Year resolution. Mm-hmm. All right, is to become an extremely good golfer this year. Okay, uh, okay. okay, so that's I'm gonna have one. to practice. Okay, that's a good one. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. I, I I looked at it and I said to myself, what do, what do I want to do? It's it's not a resolution, but it's something I hope to work towards this year. I just want to become a better person. Aww, Aww. that's nice. Because la- no la- one says you suck. No, la- <laughs> last year, last year personally was not was not the greatest of years for me. So I, I really want to become a better person. But was year. it was it not a great year because of external things or because of you? Because yeah. of me. Oh, because okay. of me and the way and you you know how life is how you react to life. So your reactions were and great. my my reactions to life were not great Aww. last year. So reactions I didn't, I didn't to see life. any yeah. of that. I didn't yeah. see any bad That's stuff. That's because come the from four you. hours I have here are really great hours, but you know, okay. it's outside of that. Oh. So oh. I really want to become a better person this year. Okay. I want to work towards that. Okay. Mm. Um, I didn't make any resolutions, but I've changed it to making affirmations. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to be more mindful, more timeful, more kindful. Nice. Oh. <laughs> I want to be more full. Yeah, there you go with food. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 I don't want. Well, I'm trying to lose weight. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your resolution? No, I don't do resolutions. So I don't do like uh, goals setting so mm. kind of thing. I just live my life one day at a time. But I feel like if there. In- is work to be done like I need to be like, like you say you know more mindful or I need to self uh, you know internalize about something then yeah. I just do it whenever, okay. I need, whenever okay. you need to mm. okay alright yeah. 
Let's not forget Shalini. Yes. Shalini <laughs> Susan, <laughs> come. Our Shalini, producer. come in. What was your resolution? Any resolutions? Uh, I was planning to lose more weight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Good, okay. Whatever uh, makes you happy. And then don't hang out with FD. Uh, you give up already. <laughs> 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 and also wear less black. Oh, okay. Put oh, more color in your life. Okay, yes. all right. Less, less black. Uh, okay, okay. okay. Well, well, there you go. She's starting off the new year I, with yeah. not a black top. I still yeah. want uh, FD to show everybody what is on the T-shirt that I gave him. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. and he hasn't yeah, opened yeah, your yeah. present yet. Yeah, well, you didn't exactly. Open just now. FD. Just, just the back no, of the shirt, you know. I mean, take show, it off. show everyone. Take it off. I'm not wearing the shirt. We need to see. I'm sure the shirt will fit. Over the years, I've I've gotten them. Show, show the camera. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what oh, is it? I love saying? this. I love this. Wait, wait, wait. There's the camera. There's the camera. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it up. What does it say? Cheap, Cheap meal, meal specialist. specialist. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, Glenn. Brilliant. Absolutely. Oh brilliant. my god, that's perfect. So I love it. <laughs> that is so me. <laughs> <laughs> Cheat meal specialist. <laughs> okay, so you've heard all of our resolutions. What's your resolution? What's your resolution, Dr. Jerry? <laughs> Keeping Glenn off the couch. <laughs> 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 also, Dr. Jerry, I think the mic is not plugged in as well. Oh, oh mic yeah, is. that's right. Maybe this year your resolution is to fix, <laughs> fix, fix the, the mic. mic. <laughs> oh, what, 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 what mic? Your, your microphone. microphone. It's not on, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think you're going. Are you serious? Yeah, I think you're going through your computer. Oh, I didn't realize that as Neither well. Did I. There's a slight echo. There is a slight echo. But it's okay. But I, yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, you it's sound fine. clear enough. Don't yeah. have to do mm. too much, lah. It's okay. Just maybe, yeah. Oh. Okay, so Dr. Jerry, your resolution for 2022? My resolution. I think last year was a very trying year. More trying than the year before. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to face this year with more energy and mm, okay. more excitement. I wasn't excited last year. So this mm. year, okay. I'm going to face it with more excitement. Wow, okay. okay. I love that. All right. Okay. Okay, yes. so... No, um, I don't yeah. know. Um, well, all of you have wonderful resolutions and you have resolutions that fall into what we call the approach goals that means you're going to do something mm -hmm. there are others that would do um avoidance goals avoidance goals means that they want to stop doing something oh, oh. Mm. and those are more difficult right for example like okay i'm going to stop eating carbs yeah. for the whole of yeah. 2022 Wow. Something like that. Oh, that's a big Which goal. is impossible. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop smoking, quit drinking. We want to stop doing something. Now, that becomes really, really difficult for many of us because we are attempting to take away something. Hmm. So, our okay. brain doesn't really like that. So, can we turn an avoidance goal into an approach goal? Mm, so... If you look at the words that you use, then it would mm. help you. Okay, so a different mm. approach. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So eat healthier would be a nice way of putting it. And Instead then you of it down stop to carbs, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Well, I just so, want to say I'm I'm not stopping, <laughs> you know, carbs because I love that's a big I love my right? carbs <laughs> exactly. But I'll eat less. <laughs> so that's exactly what you mean, right, Doctor Jerry? Instead of saying stop eating carbs, I'll eat less carbs. Okay, so I have to start, stop, and modify. Oh. Glenn does the modify, so the less, but the less still is taking away something. Okay. Mm. Oh, so you say eat more, more healthy. healthy. Right, yeah. okay, more of something. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay, that's okay. quite mm. interesting. Mm. So it is the language, it's the language we use sometimes that defeats us. Mm. It's the mindset. It's how yeah. we see it. Mm. If you're yeah. thinking that you're going to take away something, our, our brain goes, but please don't take it away and mm. hold on to it for dear life, you see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just no, like once upon a time, I was a, you know, I was a very heavy smoker. Mm. And it was because I loved smoking. Yeah, I loved it. Like after a meal, I would yeah. have a smoke. After some hanky-panky or <laughs> smoke, you know. It was like, I love smoking, right? Yeah. 
But it came to a point where I didn't like it anymore. Same. The same thing happened for me. Immediately, yeah. I I stopped. Yeah. Mm. Cold mm. turkey. Yeah. The right? same. The same thing. Yeah. No, with no symptoms. Do you feel? Well, you know, I mean, weeks later, I felt like another smoke, but I I didn't pick up a cigarette. So mm. not even in the social setting wow. these days. You know, mm. I mean, a lot of friends. Hey, you know, you've quit already for such a long time. You know, so you know, how about just the social smoke? I'm like, nope. Yeah. Once you quit, don't. Don't stop. Don't, don't, uh, yeah. don't stop. I, I think yeah. I quit three times before I finally quit. And oh, okay. the same thing happened to me. It was when I wanted to quit the first three times, it was because I knew it was bad for me, you know, mm, this and that. But yeah. I still enjoyed it. Yeah. And then three and a half years ago, it came to a point where I started to hate smoking. Right. And that was when I quit cold turkey. Let, me, well. let me ask you this. What brought you to that point? Qui- uh, quitting? Hating, or the no, hating, hating smoking. The smell. After a while, it's like uh, yeah. a bit disgusting. I think it, yeah, it didn't give me that satisfaction of the drag anymore. Ah, you know what I mean. Oh. I mean, I was smoking more because it was a hand-to-mouth action, hmm. and it was the habits of smoking after you eat, after mm. whatever it is you habits, do that you yeah. enjoy mm. habits. You know, so once you stop relating those habits to that cigarette, then hmm. you see that there's no more reason to smoke. Interesting. So it's yeah. basically, I mean, like smoking. You there are a million reasons not to smoke, and only one. To smoke because yeah. you yeah. enjoy it. You enjoy it. Plus, yeah. I wanted to kiss all the time. Oh, yeah. so right. you know, I wanted right. to kiss all the time. <laughs> right. 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 So, yeah. so, so you if, if, if your partner is a smoker, no problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but if your partner is not a smoker, right? It's then terrible. Yeah, I've, I've kissed smokers before. Ooh, the, weird, very it's, weird. The smell. It's awful. Yeah. yeah, and you can smell it everywhere, right? But we like digress. Yeah, digress. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry Dr. Jerry. Yeah. You, 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 the fingers and all that. You're still there. Your fingers will start to discolor as well. That's Yellow, true. your From teeth. The cigarette. Yeah. Yes, uh, is the yeah. tobacco? The tobacco oh. stains your fingers. Sorry, the yeah. nicotine? Oh, nicotine. The t- nicotine. Nicotine. Yeah. Traffic stain, mine. Mm. Good morning, Singapore, and welcome to the biggest breakfast show in Singapore. The Big Show with Glenn, Angel, FD, and Sean. And every Tuesday, we're joined by Dr. Geraldine Tan from The Therapy Room. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Jerry. Today we're talking about psychological richness and resolutions. And earlier we spoke about what we wish more for uh, for 2022. Uh, but can you just take us through like the different ways of approaching resolutions for the new year? So we have the start, stop and modify. So we have avoidance goals, which is the stop. And sometimes it does us in because we cannot complete our resolutions because we're taking away something. Or the approach goes mm. where we want to do something. We want to do more of something. Mm. So we approach it. Okay. So you know what? Our, um, our fans who were just watching us just now, right, mm-hmm. on the Big Show TV, actually heard our resolutions. Oh, we but, didn't do that the, on air. Yes, right. okay. but the people who are listening to us exclusively on the radio didn't. So, it's good that, uh, you know, Jerry has just, uh, you know, said what she said. Yes. All right. So, let's now uh, let everyone know what our resolutions are. And, and Jerry, you can, uh, can kind of like tell us uh, what you think of our resolutions. Okay. So, uh, right. Angel, you go ahead first. Okay. So, I earlier said that I don't want to make resolutions. I want to make more affirmations. Uh, to be more mindful, to be kinder, and to be more t- full of time. So I call it mindful, kindful, and timeful mm-hmm. for the new year. You know, I so like creating that. creating time for the things that matter, being kinder to people, and being more mindful of uh, how others feel. How's that, Jerry? What do you think? Angel's it resolution. Affirmations. Oh, oh yes. Approach goals. Yay, I win. I feel like Elma Fudd now. <laughs> FD, what were yours? Okay. Wait, 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 so, oh. so what, what did Jerry... Oh, sorry, what did Jerry... Yeah, so Jerry will, will uh, you know, tell us what she that. thinks of our resolutions. What do you think? Oh, but I thought you want to go with everyone first. No, no. One at a time. Yeah. But we are not... Trying to. <laughs> he wants you to no, judge. No, but what, what, what do you think? Is He's that is that an okay? Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, <laughs> come on. No, is that is that all right? Is that in line with uh, with what you're um, you know saying today? Like the language today? Yes. and everything. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's what he means. Yeah. I think it's a wonderful goal. She always started with affirmations. You know, mm-hmm. so affirming herself and being kind, being uh, mindful, being timeful. 
I mean, all of these are positive words, yeah? Okay. All okay. right. FD? Um, personally, I didn't have a particularly good year last year. Uh, I think because of my reactions to what was happening around me. Not at work, but outside of work. Um, so this year, I just, I, I want to work towards becoming a better person. Mm. But my oh. worry is, I started that whole idea with something very negative. It was a bad year. Uh, I didn't handle things well. Mm. Is it okay to start with that and then go on to say, yeah, but I want to try and be a better person? Mm. So there's nothing wrong with that. So modifying from last year, using last year as a template, I'm not sure whether we really want to do that, but um, yeah, being a better person is always a good thing. Maybe after you can think about how you want to do that. Mm -hmm. More specific so that you can break it down into tinier goals and then we can hear your goals, your achievements. So okay. what do you mean by uh, you're not sure if, you want, if, if FD should be using last year as a template? Is that not something oh. we should learn from, experiences, so that we can create new ones or better ones? Yeah. Yeah, definitely you can use that, you know, as a learning point, but not as a template. Okay. 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 So that template we want to throw away. Okay. We, yeah. Yeah. But we want to learn from it. We mm. want to learn from that experience. Mm. Okay. okay, got it. All right, it. Sean. Okay. My resolution this year is to be ruder. Uh, I see. Yes, so you've been too nice. Too nice. I'm a people pleaser, and that you know uh, affects me a little bit as well. So basically, don't always say yes. Yeah, I, I learn always how to say, say yeah, no. Learn to say no. Learn to and, say no. Mm. But funnier if I say. Is no. that positive, that? Uh, Dr. Jerry? Learn to say no. <laughs> John just wants to be funny. That's all. <laughs> no, what do you mean? Yeah, no, but, but let's let's take that as, as something honest. Some people are too nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Is it a good thing for us to learn to say no? Surely it must be. Because there are so times in life when you just have to say no. Yeah, so he was trying to not be a yes man. So he yeah. was trying to not go with the um, avoidance goal to say not do something. Mm. So if the alternative was to be ruder, I wonder whether that is actually a word that I would use. <laughs> <laughs> Shalini? Uh, mine was to lose more weight. Lose more weight? And wear less black. And, and wear less, less black. <laughs> and add more colour to your life. Okay. Both very okay. achievable, right, Jerry? Uh, the thing is, many people start these sort of goals and say, I cannot achieve it at the end of the year. So I'm going to uh, have Shalini try to modify what she's just said. Ah. How so do you do that? Instead of saying, like, I want to lose more weight, like, I want to lose 3 kg or something, is it? I was oh. think thinking of to become healthier. Okay. Mm. <laughs> So lose weight to become healthier. Yeah. Ah, okay. All right. Or become healthier to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you, I mean, it, it is what you eat as well, right? So if you eat like the healthier foods, that automatically sort of translates. This is why know. I can never be a psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> I have no yeah. patience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Well, what, what do you think, Jerry? So I like Angel's modification. So be healthy and then the weight will fall off. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. Try the other one. Try the other one to wear less black. Can you have something more of something? More colors. I yeah. think that's what Angel said. Yeah. Yeah. More yeah. colors. Yeah. Yeah. She wants to be able to uh, cross the road at night without people, you know, <laughs> not seeing her. Not seeing her. So, <laughs> so she wants people to see her at night. Yes. There you go. <laughs> okay. Okay. My turn. Very okay. quickly. Yeah. Make more money. I thought you were on the golf about course. course. Oh, okay. <laughs> Make more money on the golf course. Uh oh. Does that mean oh. betting is involved on the golf course? No, you see, you <laughs> see what I just did? So, to make money on the golf course, mm. I have to be a better professional golfer. golfer. A better golfer. So, better golfer. what I actually want to do is I want to be a better golfer. golfer. Okay. So, I'm willing to put in, uh, you know, the extra training and stuff like that. Yeah. And then when the opportunity comes, maybe make I can money. make more money. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I thought you were asking for sponsorship. <laughs> oh, that could come as well. I've already been offered already, but I'd rather they pay me. 
then give me equipment. Yeah. Stuff. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So what do you think, Jerry? Excellent. No. I would say you're going to be a better golfer this year. <laughs> there you go. She says done. <laughs> done okay. deal. All right. We'll continue to talk to Jerry on the Big Show TV. In the meantime, he has Coldplay with Up and Up on 1FM 91.3. Okay. Three types of life, right? Three, Three types, types of, of life. life. Yeah, because we always look at um, uh, life and we say, what is the meaning of life? And we try to look for the meaning. So tying, tying in with our resolution, there's three different approaches again. So not just the goals, but the approaches to life. So one is a happy life. Mm -hmm. The second one is a meaningful, purposeful life. So happy life is hedonic well-being. Meaningful, purposeful life is eudaimic, uh, eudaimonic well-being. Okay. And the last one is having a psychologically rich life. Wow. So a psychologically yeah. rich life. Um, the research came out only, I think, last year. The okay. Paper. Mm. So what is so it? Of, yeah, so most of the time it's a happy life or a meaningful and purpose life. Mm. So oh. I wonder what does your uh, resolutions fall into? I've never heard that one about happy life. I've only heard like happy wife, happy life. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very true, by the way. <laughs> I mean, I've heard like happy life basically do the things that keep you happy. I don't know whether it's making money or whether it's whatever it is you do. But I haven't heard of psychologically rich, rich. life. Yeah. yeah, That one I haven't heard that of. That one is... Meaningful, purposeful, I guess, doing things that, uh, that would create an impact for others. Mm. You know, that would... Yeah. That would you have a direction. So basically what it's, it means is you have a direction and you're working towards the direction. Okay. Okay. The okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. A psychologically rich life is actually very exciting when I read the, the paper. It's um, a life that is characterized by a variety of interesting and perspective changing experiences. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That keeps it fresh. Perspective changing experiences. Wow, that's mm. yeah. yeah. Wow, perspective changing. That's so. Could it be something like if you travel and you travel to a really poor region, you see how people are living. It humbles you, and you've you've experienced something that changes your perspective on how you see life and how you approach it as well, with yes, more humility and stuff. Okay, it can be. It can be. Mm, but the exciting thing is that it. It's not just happy. It's not just a positive feelings. It can be positive and negative. Mm. So, into what you just described, it could be that it hits us and it makes us feel sad. Yeah. Mm. But it can also hit us and make us feel sad and lead us to do something to help change that situation. Yes. Mm. So, that yes. becomes the positive. Positive. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, go be a missionary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so mean. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, you know, I, I, I can see where that would happen. I, 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 I don't know whether that's going to happen in my life anytime soon, but... Why not just enjoy your life? This is what I mean, right? Yes. I mean, we all know there are people who are less fortunate than us and all that. You know, we can do, you know, um, so, uh, you know yeah. charity work and, and stuff like that. But, but on a personal basis, right, I always feel like there's so many people who are messed up psychologically mm. they are and they need to take care of themselves in order to take care of other people I you agree with that totally you always have to take care of yourself you, you know what I mean if you can't Every, take care of yourself you can't help anyone everyone else. thinks they're all so is. balanced and all that but actually they're not no mm. no yeah you know what I mean? Yes, mm -hmm. I, I do. It's like you take care of yourself and then really, you know, you can bless everybody else. No, that is true. That is yeah. true. It, it starts from within before you can give outwards. Oxygen well. lasts always on yourself. Yeah. First I had a friend yeah. who was so messed up and he was telling me, teaching me how to live my life. I'm like, yeah. shut up. La. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hello, go, go, go fix your life first, you know, before you go preaching to other people. And there's so many uh, people out there like that. Jerry, <laughs> is that the right way to look at it? Fix yourself first? <laughs> So we must always care for yourself. So a lot of the healthcare workers, the mental healthcare workers, this is a big shout out to them for the last two years, the work that yep. they, they have done. 
Mm. And many of them are burning out. Many of yeah. them are very exhausted. So uh, a big appeal for them to look after themselves. So Dr. Jerry, with the three lives you mentioned, the happy, the meaningful, the psychologically yeah. rich, can you... As a psychiatrist and a professional, say uh, psychologist. Psychologist, my, I beg your pardon. And and a uh, professional, tell us which categories we fall under. Or is this something that you do like we do on our own? It's a choice that you make. Mm. So all three categories, you can definitely experience it. Mm. But some people choose to have one only. I only want to have a happy life. Or I only want to have a, a purposeful life. So a purposeful life doesn't have to be happy. Mm. All right. So if we think of the uh, uh, past generation, the baby boomer generation, where they have a purposeful life, where they work very hard for the family, but they might not be happy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So that would be FD, was it? <laughs> well, you know, it's it's odd. It's odd that Jerry said that because mm. I've spent so much of my working. life working for the family. For the family, for yeah, the that's family. exactly sounds yep. like and him. And as I stop to think about it now, how much of all that has been for me? Exactly. Well, only you can yes. answer that. I as I not can answer that. Much. Not very much. <laughs> not, not very much. So much. with this, with this, well, not knowledge. I'm sure you've known it. I'm sure it's something that you've always felt deep inside. Would you then change it to something more meaningful or psychologically rich? Would I even begin to know how to change it? It's been my life. Dr. Jerry, mm. is there a way but for him to... Psychologically rich life is about experiences. It's about mindset. That's the exciting mm. part. This one, when I read it, it was so I was so excited to bring it here because... You know, all of us can have different experiences where sometimes routine just beat us down. Now we have this psychologically rich concept where we are permitted to try new things, to do different things. Yes. Experiencing life. Yeah, I would like to like encourage everyone who's tuned in right now, right? This year, 2022, go out and try, try new things. Because yeah. there are many That's people good. who are just so, you know, they're rigid. so fixed and they're rigid, so rigid, right? Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they're close to, to anything new. You Creatures know, just of try. habit. Creatures yeah. of habit, yeah. Yeah, you never yeah, know. Blended, blended the fresh start effect. The fresh start Yay, effect. You win. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, Dr. Jerry, tell us on air. So we're going back on air again. <laughs> okay, we'll go back on air. Jerry, Jerry can explain this. Yeah, this is our last part. 2022 is going to be a competitive year. Yeah, really. <laughs> okay, last one. Huh? On air. Stand by. Track fit first. Good morning and welcome back to The Big Show and The Big Show TV. It's a Tuesday morning and that's why we have with us Dr. Geraldine Tan from The Therapy Room. Good morning, Dr. Jerry. Good morning. So we've moved on to talking about psychological richness and uh, meaningful lives and happy lives. And uh, we were just talking about FD, actually. Yeah. Weren't we? <laughs> no, and it's just the, the, the fact that I've spent so much of my life working for other people. Yeah. And I don't mean as an employee. I mean, as a family as man, a family as a well. man, you just end up doing yeah. everything for other people. And then you stop and you say, well, how much of this has been done for myself? So yeah. are you going to change that? I don't know if I know how. Dr. Jerry? <laughs> it is. That's the psychological rich life. You can try different things. You give yourself that permission. You make that choice to now try different things. Mm. But, but that's the problem with FD, you see. I've known him longer than, than all of yeah, you. Yeah. And this guy is very bad when it comes to trying new things. Even food. Yeah. yeah. It'll take yes. like forever for him to try something new. Yeah. He but had his first green curry like yeah, last year. Last year. Yeah, but yeah. I, I beg to differ. I mean, I, I, I've known you for a long time, but I've gotten to know you more over the past year. And I feel that he's someone that's tried so many new things because he's traveled to so many places that we haven't yeah you know places traveling like, is overrated no it's not overrated yeah, you're just saying that off. because you can't travel <laughs> uh, 
But I mean, you've traveled to, you've you've explored places that we have on our bucket list, but we are creatures of habit and would rather just go back to places like Bali or Phuket. But you would go to places like Peru and say, yeah, Machu Picchu, and, you yeah. know, and things yeah. like that. So in in that sense, I like, feel you that, that exactly? yeah. you're sorry. It's like Machu Picchu, <laughs> like. Okay, what do you gain from that? Experiences! Yeah. And, and and which is why I'm know, saying it's overrated. And he <laughs> National Geographic. Can you turn the studio here and do something Machu Picchu or not? <laughs> just because you haven't <laughs> been. Just, you know what I mean? Sounds like jealousy to me. Okay. You might as well just go to Bali. It would have been cheaper. You see, there you go. Diba- Creatures diba- of habit. Diba- so, <laughs> Dr. Jerry, I mean, I feel he has had... Everyone. Everyone yeah. have their own psychologically rich perspective, right? Mm. So it does, we cannot impose um, our sense of adventure on each other. So it could be one person's sense of adventure is um, exploring different foods. Mm. FD is just exploring different places. Yeah. As yeah. long as you have you know, a, a wealth of learning, you have uh, stories to bring to each other, that you are rich. You he are may- psychologically rich. Okay, I will produce your next podcast, which is a travel podcast. How about oh, that? Talking be awesome. about your, oh, your travels. Nice. At that least, cool. lah, I will, you know, because right now, to me, it's like, okay, you've you've traveled and all that, but, but that's for yourself, you know? I mean, you Can only just- share it if we ask you on the radio, but nope. if you had your own podcast talking about your your adventures... Uh, on your travels and all that, that would be great. Yeah, but then again, you see that that. Putting it to work. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So what what does this mean? You travel and then okay, it's for yourself. So you just keep it in your head. But that's and good then, because he's doing it for no, himself because he's again, been doing stuff again, for everybody else. That is not altogether correct. Mm. I traveled yep. and I did so much traveling, especially when my kids were very very young, mm-hmm. because I didn't want them growing up only knowing Asia. Okay. I wanted them to experience the world world because I worried that when they grew up and started work, they would get caught in what I call the Asian lock. Okay. Which is, as you said, Bali, South Korea, Hong Kong, Japan, Mm. Bali, South Korea, Hong Mm. Kong, Japan, Thailand, Mm. and that's all they ever go. Mm. They they don't, they don't venture. That's why I'm so glad the young today are beginning to adventure out. Mm. Right. Because I think it's very important uh, and it also makes for great stories for your grandkids, doesn't it? I guess to a certain extent. <laughs> so I see what I mean. Wow, okay. To a certain yeah. extent, yeah. So right? cynical. See no. what happened after he came back from uh, from his travels. What do you have to do? Work extra hard to make that money back <laughs> because of the large family that he has. <laughs> Every true. time he goes abroad, I bet you it's it like costs a lot. Go. Yeah, it's <laughs> cost a lot. Right? It cost a lot. But Jerry, we have a we have a statement from one of our listeners. Peng Shin Go, who says, a lot of time, adversity and hardship changes your perspective. Does that count as psychologically rich? Because it can make you cynical as well. Hmm. Okay, yes, well, I, we'll, we'll, we'll continue this on the Big Show TV. Okay, and remember, if you're listening to us exclusively on the radio right now, you can watch us on the Big Show TV anytime uh, after the show. All right. In the meantime, here's that song that we promised you early on. <laughs> Lanier with Sending All My Love on the Big Show. 1FM 91.3. So just very quickly, Jerry, um, uh, Shingo says, a lot of the time, adversity and hardship changes our perspectives. Does that count as a psychologically rich life because it can lead to, to having a cynical view? So it depends on how we approach it after the whole event has happened because there's so much learnings in it and if we take away the learnings yes emotionally there might be some um, negative emotions but a psychologically rich life has intense positive and negative emotions but Mm -hmm. it doesn't change us to become a negative person it enriches our life Okay. okay. All right. Sounds okay. good. Yeah. Okay, uh, Jerry. Thank you so much for joining us today. Because no I mean, worries. Julian is also on standby already. He's talking about <laughs> yeah. you know what driving posture today, yeah. Driving posture. Driving posture. Driving because apparently posture. most of us are you know in the wrong posture when we Actually, get into the car. Good so, yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. But it was very, it was a great conversation, Doctor Jerry. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next week. Yeah. Next week is uh, next week is Milk Day, by the way. Just in case you milk need to know, day. Milk Day. Milk Day. <laughs> milk. milk. What Milk Day? Drink That's your right. drink your Milk you, Day. Everybody appreciates milk on that day. Yes.
Only on that day. Okay. Eleventh of okay. Uh, January. See you and next as, week. <laughs> wait, not yet. As, as usual, Jerry will always leave us with. Uh, oh you know, yes, some, that's right. Last some words. words right? Yes. Glenn, Glenn remembers. Okay, so <laughs> Victor Franco meant search for meaning, um, and he says it, it did not really matter what we expected from life, but rather what life expected from us. We needed to stop asking about the meaning of life and instead to think of ourselves as those who were being questioned by life daily and hourly. Our answer must consist not in talk and meditation, but in right action and in right conduct. Life ultimately means taking the responsibility to find the right answer to its problem and to fulfill tasks which it cons- constantly sets for each individual. Victor Franco. Victor Franco. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Jerry. That was great. Yeah. He's a fellow dumb You know, every time people say Victor, yeah, F- Victor Franco, I think of Victor Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> Not the same person. Same different man. different caliber, yeah. Thank you, Bye. Jerry. Bye. See ya. Bye. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye. Bye.